Alright, uh, good morning everyone. Uh, we meet in the next part here, yeah, chapter 5. Uh, this is about introduction to time value of money. Yeah? So we can call this uh, topic uh, time value of money, uh, basics, yeah? the basics. Alright, so this is an introduction. Alright, let's look at uh, the content. Yeah? So the outline is this. Okay, we will look at first, there are four yeah, uh, key concepts in this chapter. The first key concept is called future value, right? Future value. Uh, so we determine the future value of an investment made today. Yeah? So uh, we determine the future value of any cash flow. Yeah? Here investment means any cash flow. Investment is a cash outflow. Yeah? Okay, at any time before the future date. Yeah? So it can be now, okay? it can be today or it can be any other day. Yeah? It's not necessarily only today. Yeah? Alright, so <clears throat> that is the first key concept. The second key concept is present value. Yeah? So first is future value, the second is present value. So we want to determine the present value of a cash flow to be received at the future date. Okay, so this can be present value means now or at an earlier date. Okay, and we'll see this uh, in greater detail uh, later. Yeah? So the first key concept is future value, the second key concept is present value. And the third key concept is find, to find the return on investment, or we call this the interest rate. Yeah? So the keyword is interest rate. And the fourth key concept is calculate how long it takes for an investment to reach a desired value. Okay, so here we call this the term, okay, the investment term, yeah? the length of time, or the number of periods. Okay, so we have two uh, terms. Yeah? One is term, the other is number of periods. Yeah? So these are the four key concepts that we are going to look at in this chapter. Yeah? All right, and here, um, this simple time value of money problem. Yeah? So in this chapter, we are going to look at simple time value of money problems. And simple problems or basic problems yeah, will have four elements. Okay? The four elements are first, present value. Then your future value, PV stands for present value, FV stands for future value. And R stands for interest rate, yeah, interest rate or discount rate. Yeah? We'll look at that a bit later. Then N is the number of periods or number uh, of uh, or the length of time. Yeah, so we call this N, yeah? number of periods. So <clears throat> in this condition, yeah, all must uh, there must be equilibrium. Yeah? So therefore, when we know three of these four elements, then you can solve for the unknown, yeah, which is the fourth element. So in a basic problem, you will have four elements. And these four elements, yeah, out of these four elements, three will be known and one uh, may not be known. Yeah, but using the three known elements, we can solve for the fourth unknown. Okay, so that's the idea behind this. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> and then... In solving this time value of money problems, we'll be using four methods. Yeah? We can use four methods. The first one is formula. We use a formula to solve the problem. The second one is use the time value of money table yeah? in uh, the textbook. Okay, these tables are given in the textbook. Yeah? There are four tables altogether, and we'll use the first two tables in this chapter, and the next two tables. Uh, will be used in the next chapter yeah, when we use uh, when we discuss advanced yeah, financial management uh, advanced time value of money techniques okay then uh, there is a third method which is we can use the financial calculator yeah, and we can also use a spreadsheet to solve this problem so we'll be looking at all these four methods yeah, but the main method that you should be focusing on is the formula yeah, because this is available and you can use it anytime yeah. with the help of a calculator a normal calculator you can get the answer when you use the formula so we'll be focusing on the use of the formula yeah, to solve this uh, time value of money problems okay let's start with the first uh, introduction yeah, introduction or basic definitions so what is present value? Yeah? Present value is uh, uh, the value of money okay, and, uh, at an earlier time. Yeah? So that's the keyword here, earlier money on a timeline. 
So that is present value here. Now, future value is later money or time value. So this is a very broad definition here. Yeah? So we start with present value here. Okay, present value is uh, the value of any cash flow. Okay, the cash flow occurring at let's say uh, five years from now. Okay, and you want to determine the value of that cash flow at an earlier time. So that is called present value, right? Now, future value is to find the value of the same cash flow at a later time, yeah, on a timeline. So this uh, is called future value. For example, let's say there is a cash flow. You expect a cash flow five years from now. Okay, and you want to know the value of that cash flow at a later time, let's say 10 years from now. Okay, and that is the question of future value. Right, yeah, so this uh, you should know the difference between the two as uh, we look at some problems, then this will become clearer. Yeah? Now, the third key concept here is interest rate. Yeah? Interest rate is actually an exchange rate between earlier money and later money. Yeah? When we say money, there are two types of transactions yeah, that we can take uh, undertake uh, using money. Yeah? Uh, remember the money market, okay, money market deals with instruments that mature in less than one year yeah? all right therefore this is called money right so this is a technical term yeah? it's not money as we usually understand yeah? it's not currency notes yeah and so on yeah? currency is currency money is money yeah? technically speaking they are different okay and therefore here when we say money it involves two transactions either you borrow or you invest or deposit yeah and that investment or borrowing is uh, restricted to uh, short-term maturity, yeah, meaning less than one year. Yeah? So that's the definition, the, the conventional definition for money. Yeah? Now money is also known as, the this interest rate yeah, is also known as the price of money. Yeah? So this is the price that you receive for depositing. Okay? This is the price okay, or reward yeah, that you get for depositing your money. It means you forego your uh, consumption now and therefore you will be rewarded for foregoing your consumption yeah? you must be rewarded otherwise you will not deposit okay and this interest rate is also the price of money uh, in borrowing yeah? so the person who borrows it will be a cost this price of money will be the cost that the borrower pays yeah? for the benefit of uh, being able to use the money now and therefore, there must be a cost yeah, to that. So the, the borrower will pay the cost. And this is called the interest rate. Okay, whether you deposit or you borrow, you will deal with the interest rate. Yeah, that is what we mean, right? Interest rate being the price of money. The price that you need to pay for the benefit of using the money now and then paying later. Or returning the money later yeah? so that is what we mean by the price of money uh, now uh, interest rate is also known as discount rate in a particular context yeah? in uh, a particular context normally with present value we call the interest rate discount rate okay and this we will see that later now uh, the cost of capital is also a type of interest rate yeah? this cost of capital uh, you will see this cost of capital later, yeah? in later chapters and particularly in uh, the next course which is the advanced financial management. Okay, and uh, broadly is also known as the cost of borrowing. Yeah? The cost of borrowing is also the interest rate. Yeah? Sometimes it's called the opportunity cost of capital. Yeah? So these are all uh, in cost terms. But you can also see in terms of uh, compensation, yeah? reward. So we have re required return or expected return or yield. That is also an interest rate. Yeah? So if you deposit, so it will be the required return. The interest rate would be the expected return or yield. Yield means return. Yeah? What you get. Okay, what you get. Okay, yield. Uh, what is produced is also called yield. Yeah? So this uh, deposit will yield, will produce. Uh, this interest, yeah, and therefore this interest rate is called uh, return yeah? or yield. Okay, so this all these different terms refer to the same thing, yeah, and the broad term is interest rate. Is that okay? All right. 
let's look at the basics of a timeline. And this is what we mean by a timeline. You have a long line like this, okay, and then uh, you have the time specified on the on above the timeline. This is called a timeline, okay, and then you have the uh, time specified on the timeline above here. Yeah? About the timeline. So this is zero. Zero means uh, now, okay, and it's present, okay, or now. But this also means the beginning of the first period, okay, beginning of the first period. Yeah. So therefore, one is actually the end of the first period, or also the beginning of the second period. Okay. So one here refers to the end of period one. Yeah? So note that. Yeah. So T is the end of period T. And n is the end of period n. Yeah? So n is the term or number of periods of deficit, investment, or loan. Yeah? So number of periods. Yeah? So this is the first element in uh, basic time value of money. Yeah? So this is number one, the first element. Okay, the second element is the interest rate. Yeah? Interest rate is normally written here between the uh, zero present and in the end of the first period and so you write r percent so that refers to the interest rate this is the convention yeah how you draw the timeline right and then you have this cash flow this can this cash flow can be a positive cash flow or a negative cash flow yeah if it's positive there's a cash inflow negative means there is a cash outflow yeah so this is cash flow occurring at the end of period t yeah that's why it occurs here yeah Right. Now, if you want to determine the value of this cash flow at a later time, because n here is later than t, yeah? then this is called future value, yeah? the value of a cash flow at a later time. So this is called a future value. So this value is the future value of this cash flow at time t. Yeah? This is the future value at time n. Of this cash flow that occurs at time t, yeah? right? So note this: yeah? if this is a negative cash flow, this will be a positive cash flow. Yeah, we'll come to that a bit later. Yeah, right. Now, what is present value? Present value is the value of a cash flow at an earlier time. So, if this cash flow occurs here, you want to determine the value of this cash flow earlier. For example, now. Yeah? Okay, present value PV at time zero, yeah? present value at time zero, then it will be a present value problem. Yeah? You want to determine the present value. Alright, and it's not only at time zero, yeah? you can determine the uh, value of this cash flow at end of uh, time one or period one, then that is also a present value because you want to determine uh, the value of a cash flow which occurs later at an earlier time and therefore this is present value all right now the sign convention is important yeah so uh, a cash inflow must be matched with a cash outflow yeah earlier or later and vice versa so if there's a cash inflow here this is a cash inflow you want to determine the cash of the uh, uh, future value for example if it's a cash inflow here, then the future value will be a cash outflow. Okay, if there's a cash inflow here, the present value will be a cash outflow. Yeah? So that is what we mean by sign convention. It must be matched. Okay, inflow must be matched with outflow. Yeah? They don't occur at the same time, at a later or earlier time. Yeah? But one must be matched, yeah? must be opposite. One must be positive, the other must be negative. For example, if you take a deposit, there is an earlier lower cash outflow. You deposit now yeah, a smaller amount earlier, but later you receive a higher cash inflow. Later you receive a higher. Yeah? So that is deposit. If it's a loan or borrowing, earlier you have a lower cash inflow, you borrow now, but later you pay. Yeah? Therefore, it's a higher cash outflow. So this uh, is the timeline basics. Yeah? So in the next clip, we'll look at the uh, coming topics, the next topics in this particular